Use code VERLICIFY for 20% off your G Fuel order. G Fuel is the best energy formula I've found for gaming, work, and Pokemon battles. Also, the flavors are amazing. So grab some to have more focus and energy while gaming. Onto the video. All right, let's see how the GOAT team is doing right now, or if the cheating has cycled the meta and everything is out of control. Um, Hippowdon versus Clefable. We got a fissure for that. Sheen Pao, kind of salvaging. Also works good into a lot of it. I think it's just this. It's like Fluttermane, Sheen Pao core. Always lead Fluttermane if they have an Ursaluna. Pick the tank that wins the game. This team is actually nasty. It, it doesn't have the win rate cap of 99% like the Houndstone team or the Last Respects team does. But there's some pretty good playability here for how ugly Generation 9 has been. Right, let's also move this down. Oh, that's a little too much. I don't like the one pixel, but all right. I guess we'll just have to deal. Ooh. Interesting. I wonder if it's actually just going to be like trash stealth rocks, and then I win the game right here. So the unaware already kind of interesting. Don't want to fall too far behind on that. I was hoping for more mid-game play. But yeah, if they, if they see all the setup, Clefable is the play for them. But it's trash Stealth Rocks. Does break the Sash on Chin Pao. Also, Chin Pao's overwhelming pressure could be too much. But, like, we just stockpile here. And then we throw Fissures. Yeah, we get our, our one. That doesn't matter. I, I kind of like flinch because like ah oh, I'm low my defenses because I'm I'm so used to like shadow ball and all the other things dropping my special defense when it matters and now we are kind of set up so does he expect the fissure really that's where we're at right now I've never seen. The Fable, use Encore, any time in my life. We'll find out if they're unaware depending on this damage. And it could get so funny that Clefable's like lack of damage might just outlast the unaware, or the Encore, and they could PP out on it. Nah, they, they have too many Calm Minds. Did we just last? Like, he might outpredict himself here. And if he switches, yeah. Fine. Thanks! 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 But I guess because of the Encore timer, he can always just, like, switch in on the final Encore. Urshifu ignores defenses. I have, okay, like, so we got Encore to use it, that was an Encore turn. This is the last Encore turn. So we go Terra Dragon, and then we win the game. Because I don't think there's like the, the switch out, switch back in, once they just tag it for one turn, because then it ends on this, and then we get to Fissure. Okay. Really wants me gone. This is this is going to be a really weird game. My god, Clefable's running Encore and I'm so just I'm so over it. When did the anti setup like the anti setup meta came back and now we're not just dumpstering? Three damage. Oh, you love to see it though.
if we can just fissure anything, dude, it's gonna be okay. See, that's, like, even, like, not switching while getting Encore, dude, because Clefable had nothing on us. It's just wild. Is he sticking it out? Yo, he's going back in! Oh, we're just better! Hippo, please just, just put this... Ooh, that's different. Dang. That's it, just put him down for that. Send it away, dude. Problem is, like, body press, KOs, Clefable, and then things kind of ugly. Oh, that's... I'm, I'm like, that's quote-unquote fine? But, dude, what is with all this disruption he's running? Also, Game Freak is disgusting. After seeing the body press, his play is that he wants to go... And why is it running Yawn? Why is Pokemon this ugly? What's the interaction sleep into Encore? I think since I didn't make a move, there's nothing to Encore, so we technically have the wake up. So this is beneficial to us in weird ways. Um, I don't know what he wants to switch into, but yeah, then like we just wake up Fissure, or we body press KO this. Fine. We, dude, if we got that Fissure, that's, that's like where it matters. We also saw his leftovers. That is an underwhelming, upsetting amount of damage. He might have outplayed himself here. We just kind of need the fissures to land. Also, Clefable's so fat on that resist, like, not unaware. And I like how he has no damage on us. So we're we're just like tanking. Out of Moonblast. Yeah, yeah, he's not unaware. So our leftovers is is getting it done for us. He still has like rough threats though. So I mean like the play was there to just like throw the fissure. But, like fissure misses on Ursaluna and then it gets awkward. Fissure misses on Clefable and we're in the same spot. He's just trying to grind us down. Being encored into recovery, not the worst thing. Being encored into Fissure, not the worst thing. It's going to take him, like, three hits, so we just get odds. Okay, it's going to take him two hits. Come on. Come on. Yo. There you go. Little late on the draw. That's all right, Hippo. We showed this kid how the game works. Hippo took a nap, woke up, felt refreshed, slept in, did... Did sleep in a little bit, but that's okay because the fissure landed. And now Timmy learns how Pokemon works. This is my first slack off. It's a silly game. I was about to say, there's no way Ursaloon is that strong, though. That's, that's where we hit like too unacceptable. Didn't go for the yawn. Let me set up. His damage is cut here. So he can't back to back. Yeah, that's right, guys. These stats are fair. It just survived a super effective plus three body press. And and it just doesn't get to use the one-shot move twice in a row. But it still has stupid damage. Just what is this, man? Like, yeah, and this player has all this tech. The Encore, they thought the Stealth Rocks was gonna get it. I didn't flinch, and I made the outplay because I just calced it right, where I was like, wait a second, let's switch out. Because he's outspeeding me on the Encore, and then uh, the turns just lined up, and he didn't have the lock. So it made things extra wacky. 
Uh, we could swing Fissure and be funny, but Hippo is about the reliability and he doesn't even try. Because we also saw that there's zero damage. Man, I wanted to go into the calculations on the Flutter main because we just like math that into perfection, but no, Hippo's just the best, dude! There's there's discussion in, in stream chat right now about Chin Pao being top five, but is Chin Pao top five when Hippo exists? And then, you know, there's a lot of other top fives to talk about. Chin Pao easy top 10 Pokemon all time, though. But, but when Hippo exists, I think Hippo takes the five away. 